the Jordan Corporation wants to set up a private cemetery business. According to CFO Barry MD, business is looking up. As a result, the cemetery project will provide a net cash inflow of 1,45,000 for the firm during the first year. And the cash flow are projected to grow at a rate of 4% per year forever. The project requires an initial investment of 1.9 million. If the company requires an 11% return on such undertakings, should the symmetry business be started, the company is somewhat unsure about the assumption of growth rate of 4% in its cash flows. At what constant growth rate, the company just break even if it still required a return of 11% on investment. Here in the question, 1.9 million is the cash outflow, that is initial investment and 1,45,000 will be a cash inflow during the each year for forever. It will grow at a 4% rate forever. I have copied these value in Microsoft Excel. The initial investment is 1,9 million. Cash inflows 1,45,000, growth rate is 4% and the required rate of return is 11%. We know that the cash flow that we receive forever or pay forever is known as perpetuities. So here we will apply the concept of perpetuity, but the perpetuity amount will grow at a rate of 4%. To do so, we will use this formula. This is the same formula that we have applied in the stock valuation to value, find the value of the stocks which have perpetuity terms. Here in the formula PT is the price at zero time period is equal to D1 expected dividend, R is the required rate of return and G is the growth rate. The same formula will be applied in this question where D1 will be the cash inflows, 4% growth rate and 11% required rate of return. To solve this question, I will write here present value and it is equal, present value is equal to cash flow that we will receive forever divided by, divided by required rate of return minus growth rate and press enter. So the present value of the cash flow is 2.071 million. Now the NPV is N. PV is equal to present value of the cash flows minus the initial investment and the answer is 1,71,000. So the NPV of this project is positive, so this project will be accepted. The company is somewhat unsure about the assumption of growth rate of 4% in its cash flows. At what constant growth rate would the company just break even if it still required a return of 11% on investments? In this question, the company actually wants to know at what growth rate the net present value of the project will be exactly equal to zero by considering the discount rate 11%. So to, to solve this question, this is the basic equation that the company wants to achieve. 0 is the NPV is equal to initial investment plus present value of the cash flows. But the G is missing. If we solve this question for G, then we can get the answer of minimum growth rate at which the NPV will be equal to 0. If we start to solve this question, then we will get G is equal to 0 0.11 that is growth rate minus bracket start cash flow divided by initial investment and the G is 3.368. So at 3.368 the NPV of the project will be zero and that is the minimum discount rate at which the company should accept this project. If you need any help in any finance questions you can contact us. We will try our best to provide answers to your questions. Thank you. Take care. Allah Hafiz.